I'm Barry Duke. I'm going to go over proper installation of the Surefire SOCOM suppressor. If you look on the bottom of the flash hider, you see the index tab. If you look in the back of the suppressor, you can just feel around. Right here is the index slot in the back of the suppressor that the index tab mates with. Uh, to install the suppressor, simply make sure the lock ring's uh, fully open. So press the little latch where it says push. Rotate it around until it's fully open. Then you can approximately line up the index slot with the index tab. And slight twist goes into place. If you want to spin the whole thing around, you can do that too until it falls. But once it falls, there's no more left and right movement of the suppressor. Just grab the lock ring, snug it down, and basically a complete solid suppressor unit. If you look on the back, you can see where the lock rings totally over the annular ridge on the back of the muzzle breaker flash hider. To remove the suppressor, it's very important that you push the latch fully down. I like using the bottom side of my knuckle and just wrap my hands around, pull the suppressor off with carbon. You got to work it back and forth a little bit, but the labyrinth seals and everything make it come off a lot easier. Uh, improper installation would be instead of dropping it in where it goes into the tab where you can see it drop you stop as soon as you put it on and you know, you can see the lock ring only rotates you know very slightly less than a quarter of a turn and the suppressor feels solid if you look on the back it's not locked over the back of the adapter and it just comes right off. That's because you didn't fully seat the suppressor you know, on the index tab before you work the lock ring. And there you have it, proper installation of the Surefire SOCOM.